everybody. I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Good guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Heavy Seas. This is their Marzen beer. Uh, right off the bat, they got the code here on the bottom. <clears throat> Tells you when it's best buy. So, I mean, thumbs up for that. It's a win-win situation when the guys do that. We know, they know you're drinking fresh beer. So, uh, I applaud them. Thumbs up for that. Uh, that's good for at least a grade notch in my book nowadays. So, guys, uh... Like I said, this is from Heavy Seas. They're out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, the Clipper City Brewing Company, Heavy Seas Beer. This is a Marzen style beer, like I said, uh, Oktoberfest. It comes in at 5.75 ABV, year-round serving from them. This is uh, uh, the, food, the food pairing for this, a uh, sausage, pizza, beef, uh, your fall foods. Uh, nothing really, really strong with this one because this is a light, lighter sessionable beer. The glass wire is a pint. You could use the mug, Stein, Becker, uh, about anything you want to pour it in. The beer is not recommended for extended cellarings, and uh, like I said, it's got the date on the bottle, so you know how long you can cellar it. So that being said, let's get the cap off this thing. I do like the, these guys' beers usually. They do some pretty good work. Good-looking beer in a glass. It is a very amberish, uh, slightly, slightly other than a golden color. Just a slight hint. It's not to the red color yet, but it is an amber-colored beer. Didn't pour a, ma a monster head. I didn't pour it super aggressive because, you guys, you know, I don't like to get those monster heads. Let's get a nose on this one. A lot of bubbles streaming up in the bottom. I'm getting some toasty malts, a little breadiness. Maybe some earthy hops there. A little caramel, so. I've got a strong nose to this one, so let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Very light, very light beer here. Uh, I'm most of this very sessionable. It's very sessionable beer. 5.75, so it's sneaking up on 6%. Very easy drinking. A little bready, a little breadiness there, biscuity taste. Very good, though. I mean, it's uh, seemingly pleasant. Little caramel going on there. Very nice. Very nice. Very typical of the, of the uh, Mars the style beers. Oktoberfest slash Oktoberfest. And this one's not overboard with the, the spices and stuff. So, uh, But if that's what you're looking for, I mean, uh, some people like to kick it up a notch when they drink these style of beers. So this one's very easy drinking. It's not going to blow your palate out. So right out of the fridge, we're going to let it warm up, sip on it here. And I'm going to keep, I ain't going to take too long. Uh, I'll have this down in about 10 or 15 minutes. So guys, stick around. I'll be right back. Won't take me but a second or two. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. Uh, this is fairly typical of this type of beer. Pretty tasty. Not my style or anything, but fairly sessionable. And that's what I expect out of a Mars and beer. So, with that being said, guys, final show. Very easy drinking. No, I cannot tell if it's got alcohol in this. I mean, I don't give any alcohol notes at all. Kind of softy to me. Uh, these beers taste softy to me because of the the crackery, bready taste that it's got. So, uh, very good though. I mean, you know, I, I could very easily drink two or three of these. Uh, 
and not have anything said about it at all. So, uh, very tasty beer, guys. So, I'm going to give it a solid B. No, back, as a matter of fact, I'm going to kick it up to a B plus since it's got the date on the bottom of the bottle here. I don't think it's going to blow your hair back or your socks off or anything like that, but it's a, it's a probably a tasty beer for a Martian type beer. So, uh, I mean, if you drink three or four of these, you're going to catch you one. <laughs> there ain't no doubt about that. Rate Beer has it at 53 overall and a 77 in style. So, not too big of marks there, guys. So, uh, I don't think there was a lot of impressions, positive impressions made there. But, on the other hand, Beer Attic comes up with a B also. So, uh, I may have been a little biased and kicked it up a notch, but I, I do appreciate them putting the dates on the bottle. So, in my book, that's a, that's a plus. So, uh, that's what I'm going to give it, the B+. Plus. So, if you've, uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. Let's look in the fridge together. See you then.